Let's take a look at graphing inequalities in two variables. Let's take a look at our first one. Y is greater than 3x minus 1. Y is greater than 3x minus 1. Now if we have a less than or greater than, then we're going to have a dotted line. If we have a less than or equal to or a greater than or equal to, we'll have a solid line. Let's go let's go on and take a look at this. Okay. Y is greater than 3x minus 1. You want to be in your apps, so if you're not, press your apps button. And we want to go over to advanced graphing. So right arrow over to it and press enter. And we're going to type this in as we see it. So we want the Y, which is um alpha 1, gives us the Y. Then we're going to do shift 6 to bring up our uh, inequalities. And we want the greater than which is 9, so I'll down arrow over that and press enter on it, or I can press the 9. And you see y is greater than there, and then 3x minus 1. So 3x minus 1, and press enter. And then we'll plot. Now this is almost our answer. One thing it doesn't give you is what this line is that separates the, the shaded region from the non-shaded region. Now, since this is a greater than, greater than tells us this should be a dotted line. So, when I sketch this down, that's dotted, and then this is my shaded. And that's my answer. Okay. Let's take a look at our second one. Y is less than or equal to x squared plus 2x minus 1. We'll go back to our symbol. So I press my symbol button. I'll do a backspace to wipe that out. And then I'll do my y. So that's alpha 1 to get to y. Shift 6 to bring up the, the symbols. I want less than or equal to, which is this one. So right arrow over to it and press enter. And then x squared. So I do my x key, x squared plus 2x minus 1 and press enter. Now if I plot, that is almost our answer. We just need to know what this line is that separates the shaded region from the non-shaded. Less than or equal to, it tells us, is a solid line. So, um, solid, going down like that, and then this will be shaded here. Now, I don't have this in my examples, but let's take a look at uh, like x squared plus y squared is less than 9. Let's see how this handles it. So I'm going to go back to my symbol, do a backspace to wipe that out. I'm going to do x squared. So I do max key, x squared plus y squared. So I'm going to do my y, which is alpha 1 and then squared, less than, so I do shift 6 to bring up this menu, and I want to choose a less than, which is the first one, 9, and then press enter. So we're typing it exactly as you see it. Now if I press plot, notice what happens. Uh, we get our picture. We do not have to have Y by itself. Uh, this mode handles all different kinds. I'd be shocked if there's any that it cannot handle. Of course, the thing we have to remember is what this represents. Less than is dotted line, which means you're going to have dotted going around like this, and you're shading inside. And that would be our answer. Now, let's say we had like x is greater than or equal to 2. Well, you can probably figure out what's going to happen. If I um, go to my symbol... Backspace to wipe that out, and I do my X, and then Shift 6 to bring up this. I want to choose greater than or equal to. I'm going to write her over that instead of trying to press the divide, and press Enter. And then I'll put 2 in, and Enter. And now if I plot, you see it gives us our graph. So X is greater than or equal to. Greater than or equal to means it's a solid line. So this is going to be a solid line with separating the shaded region from the non-shaded, and it's shaded over in this direction.
Now that's how you can graph inequalities in two variables on HP Prime uh, graphing calculator.